conservation embraces an interdisciplinary and science-based approach to art. Conservators are highly educated and trained individuals who underwent years of studies in science, chemistry, history, ethics and art, to name but a few. Indeed, our conservators are the guardians of our cultural heritage. They are passionate about the arts and dedicated to preserve our treasures for future generations. At Stella Art Conservation, we are specialised in museum quality art conservation and restoration of paintings, sculptures, artefacts and other artworks, from the ancient to the contemporary. Our expert art conservators have superior knowledge in traditional as well as innovative fine art conservation techniques and are capable of restoring highly damaged artworks while preserving the artist's original intention. Our Chief Art Conservator Barbara Stella is a professional associate of the American Institute for Conservation and she stringently follows its rules and regulations. In the span of a 30-year career, she has performed treatments on artworks by prestigious artists such as Rembrandt, Monet, Salvador Dali, Kenneth Noland, John Miro, Magritte and more. Join us in this journey behind the scenes of Stella Art Conservation narrated by our Chief Conservator, Barbara Stilla. A conservation treatment always begins with the examination of the artwork. For that purpose, we use different tools and methods to reveal the actual condition of the painting. The specialized equipment we use for the examination are UV light, raking light, microscope, and eventually infrared X-ray. It's essential for a conservator to record all the information obtained throughout direct observation and in-depth researches regarding the artist, the history and artistic techniques. When all this information is recorded, we can establish a conservation treatment protocol. UV light is an essential tool in art conservation. It enables our conservators to examine paintings and help us to detect previous restoration as well as understand the materials used by the artist and much more. In this case, for instance, you can identify the retouching we did during the restoration of this beautiful portrait of Lily Lantry. As you can see, the retouching are not visible in natural light. However, they must be identifiable under UV light to distinguish between the original and the restoration. Cleaning a painting is a very important and yet sensitive phase in conservation. Accumulated layers of dirt, grime, soot, smoke, discolored varnish, old retouching, over time can alter the appearance of the painting. As a consequence, the image may look darkened, yellowed or dull, or simply it doesn't appear as clear or sharp as you remember. By removing this layer, a conservator can bring a painting back to its original brightness. Cleaning an artwork requires skills and knowledge in chemistry, material science and much more. It also requires years of training and practical experience. Indeed, improper cleaning can cause irreversible damages. To clean a painting, we use several methodologies and materials, from the traditional solvents, solvent gels, to the new methodologies and new materials that are constantly improved. So, today, we can also use microemulsion, a quail solution and adjusted water where we change the pH of the water, making it more acidic or basic, based on what we need to solubilize on the paint layer. We also have the latest innovation in conservation, which is nanotechnology. Another important technology that can be used particularly for sensitive paintings that do not support any water or solvent solutions. We perform 
preliminary test to determine the most appropriate cleaning solution and methodologies. We also evaluate the solubility of the material that needs to be removed from the surface. We do especially take into consideration the stability of the original materials and much more prior to proceeding with the cleaning. We do deeply examine the artwork and carefully select the proper cleaning solution. In this case of this painting depicting the Rialto Bridge in Venice, which is an oil on canvas, it presents a layer of nicotine on the surface. As you can see in this area where I removed the layer of nicotine, I was able to reveal the original brightness of the color. The difference is absolutely dramatic. For the cleaning in this phase, I used adjusted water, changing the pH of the water with a lower pH to remove the layer of nicotine. In this other painting depicting a portrait of a lady, we have a different issue, which is a very thick discolored varnish. Traditional oil paintings usually have a final coat of varnish over the paint layer as a protective layer from dust and atmospheric pollution. However, the varnish are natural resins that with time, light and humidity have the tendency to discolor and change the overall brightness and tone. The final phase is what we call the cosmetic treatment, which includes the retouching of the losses. Here we recreate the color matching the surrounding original colors to restore the artist's image, but without covering any of the original paint. The retouching or in painting must be confined to specific area of loss and the materials used must be reversible. In this modern painting, Barbara cleaned both the paint layer and the raw canvas. As you can see from this picture, the painting had dirt, nicotine and foxin. And here is the picture taken after the restoration. Please note that the canvas was returned to its original color and no blanching was done to it. The technique used made sure that the painting will be preserved for many generations to come. This ancient French painting had many issues, yellowing of the varnish, tears, holes and many more. Please pay close attention to the area on top of the lady's head. And here is the painting after the restoration. Notice anything different? The hat was overpainted during a previous restoration and it was a true pleasure for us to bring the painting back to its original beauty, revealing the hat that the artist had so skillfully done. That's the purpose of an art conservatory.